guys, it's Misty here from the Jolly Fit Up. Welcome back to another day and another card in my holiday card series. So, like most of my cards, this card came to me last night when I was just lying in bed. I couldn't fall asleep, <laughs> even though I had taken something to help me. So, I was just thinking, and this, this card popped up. So, we're using three stamp sets. And I know that's a lot, but it's going to be cute, I promise. <clears throat> so I'm using Santa's sleigh, and I'm just using the deer. I'm using festive phrases, and I'm using this cute little elf. And then I'm using Santa's suit, and I'm using this Santa image, which I love. <laughs> so I have cut three squares that measure one and a half by one and a half. So we're going to start with the elf. And I'm just going to ink up from his hair <laughs> upwards. And I want, I just want like from his hair Just like that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to stamp the reindeer. And I just want his hind end. Just kind of want his hind end and legs. Like that. <laughs> and then finally, I'm going to stamp Santa, and we're going to stamp most of him. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you in, and I'm going to color these with my blends. And I'm just going to do some really quick, easy coloring. We'll start with Santa. I'm going to use ivory. And then my two, um, what are they called? Tray cobbler markers. You can kind of see it faintly, maybe, but you can see the stamped image come through when I add the ink or the mouth alcohol marker. So I went ahead and re-stamped Santa, and that gave me an opportunity to redo his booty. <laughs> Although, yeah, no, I like it. So let me go ahead and add the white buttons, because I really like that. Okay guys, so the next step, I'm going to cut down three pieces of Whisper White to one and three quarter inches wide 
by two and a quarter inches long. Okay, I'm gonna bring in my Lailene Squares framelits and I'm gonna pull out the one that measures, the square measures one and three quarter inches, but the cutout spot is one and one half inch, which fits these perfectly. And then I'm gonna bring back in my little um, piece that we just cut. Okay, I'm gonna use a piece of washi tape. And I'm gonna add this sure it's straight. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to run all three of these through my Big Shot and I'll be back in just a second. Okay guys, I'm back. So before I go much further, I just want to show you why I went ahead and cut my little images separately because it's because I need a border to adhere. And I want one more image for the inside of the card and I'm gonna bring in this cute little dash hound in his little sweater from the Ready for Christmas stamp set and I haven't quite decided My ink pad, I had to ink it up because I left it open. <laughs> and I think that's why I'm having a little bit of a hard time with it. I've made it too juicy. Right, let's see how we do. So I think... So while we give that a second to dry, let's work on our card base. This is a piece of real red cardstock. I cut it at five and a half by eight and a half. I scored it at four and a quarter. This is a hot dog or a hamburger, excuse me, style card. So I have two pieces of designer series paper here. One of them measures four by five and a quarter and the other one measures two and three quarters by five and a quarter. And these are both from the um, Christmas Around the World designer series paper where that beautiful plaid comes from. <laughs> so I'm just gonna adhere these with some liquid glue. I think I'm just about out. Or it's just coming out really slow. One of the two. <laughs> One of the two. And you can have your stripe going the other way. I just thought this would be a little different. It almost reminds me of like a circus tent, which has nothing to do with Christmas, but I watched um, Madagascar 3 <laughs> one day last week because I was doing something out in the living room and I just, sometimes you just want some background noise and um, it's that's when they join the circus and with Afro Circus, I was like, oh my word, no wonder kids love those movies. Heck, I'm 39 years old and I love those movies. Oh, that's my issue. Hmm, somehow the lid got unscrewed, that's weird. So that was pretty fun. I only went to, I've only been to two circuses in my life. One time um, in our hometown and we parked in a dirt parking lot and it rained. I thought we were gonna get stuck. And then I went with my mom. We took my niece to the Ringling Brothers Circus when I came here and I decided that I don't like circuses. <laughs> I just don't like them. I don't care for them. I don't like what they're about. 
Okay, okay, enough with that. Let's color. So I'm gonna do red and red and green, red and brown, and then we'll do the light around it. Let me start there actually. And let's go ahead and get our little Polaroids adhered together. So they're gonna fit just like that. And again, there's the tiniest border for us to adhere to. I'm going to use the tiniest glue that I can. Okay, let's add some dimensional adhesive to the back of these. Maybe we should start with the outside ones. <laughs> Work our way to the middle. Obviously, I'm having a hard time. Per usual. You can hear Jingle Bell Cat, and she came in the room. So we're gonna double this up. <clears throat> I think his little tail is cute anyway. <laughs> He's so cute. Perfect. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bring in some Wink of Stella because it's a Christmas card. I'm gonna add it to the background. So everything. So that's where we are so far. So I've done some things on the computer and this is just really, really simple. So I made this <laughs> for the inside and then this is our sentiment, sentiment for the front. 
Oh my, 2107, Misty. 2107? <laughs> really? Oh my gosh, proofread. So this measures one half by two and three quarters, and this measures three quarters by three. So I'll just hear these two together. Now I'm gonna pop this up with dimensionals. Now, if you have the Nailed It stamp set from Last Occasions catalog, um, it had the like the tools, you could totally use that stamp set because I'm pretty sure that it had something that said, um, I think the sentiment was nailed it. So I think that would be really cute. But I already sold it. <laughs> so I don't have it. Okay, so let's adhere our inside card layer. And then we'll add our little doggy. And I'm doing this because you can probably tell that I didn't cut it <laughs> centered, which that's okay. We're gonna fix it. Um, put that up here. And it still gives you room to write. You can even put your message in the on the inside. And then, you know, type it all up and then just sign it if you wanted to. And the last thing I want to do is I, I left the spot because I want to add. So these are on sale this week. This is a enamel shape. This is from the... Uh, what is this called? Settles. Okay. Done. <laughs> I really love this card. Oh my gosh. I hope you do as well. If you do, make sure you give me, um, leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. Make sure you join my Facebook group. Um, the link is down in the description box below because I will be announcing my Black Friday weekend special um, tomorrow, which is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving here in the U.S. So yeah, so thanks so much for watching me, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.